This video will show you how to perform OIE measurements using the Mako AeroScan. Connect the AeroScan to the OIE probe by pushing the probe plug straight into the connector. Press the down button to start the device. Navigate through the menu with the up and down buttons. To change a specific setting, use the left-right buttons to scroll through the available options. There are several test protocols with different test parameters available for both TEOAE and DPOAE screening. Choose the type of measurement you want by pressing the left-right buttons within the protocol menu. It is necessary that the measurement is performed in a quiet environment. Autoacoustic emissions are very soft sounds from the inner ear and any background noise, including nearby talking, can interfere with the test result. Make sure that a new probe tube is inserted in the probe. Select an ear tip that matches the size of the patient's ear canal. Connect the ear tip to the probe tube so it is completely covered. Place the probe gently and securely into the patient's ear canal. It is easier to place the probe correctly if you carefully pull the patient's ear back and upwards so the ear canal is slightly straightened. Make sure that the probe is inserted deep enough so it does not fall out too easily. Start the measurement by choosing the ear sight with the left-right buttons. After an initial probe fit check, the measurement will start automatically. If the probe fit check is not successful, the measurement does not start. In this case, reinsertion of the probe and or inspection of the probe tip is necessary. Start the measurement again. Every frequency will be tested one after another. The display will show the signal-to-noise ratio for every test frequency. A green bar indicates that the pass criterion for the specific frequency was reached. The display and sequence of the measurement will depend on your specific settings. A green pass indicates that the passing criteria for the selected screening protocol are fulfilled. An orange refer means that rescreening or further diagnostic measurements are necessary. If the result shows a message other than pass or refer, improve test conditions and repeat the measurement. After both ears have been screened, remove the ear tip and discard it. It is best practice to remove the probe tube after each patient or between ears when the tube is clogged. Use the removal tool to grasp the probe tube. Push the removal tool on the probe until it snaps into position. Pull the tube straight out of the probe. Dispose the old tube, take a new one and insert it to the probe until it is fully seated. Wipe any parts that came into contact with the patient with a disinfectant wipe. It is recommended to use wipes without alcohol. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned. Wellness Pro is here for you. 
today and tomorrow.